Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick video on accuracy, reliability, and validity. I'm Catherine with Ready, Set, ABA, and this is a question that I get a lot regarding data. And when we're looking at IOA measures and trying to figure out if the data is accurate, reliable, and valid, we have to understand these terms, especially picking them apart from test questions when we're talking about experimental designs or measurements. So first, I like to think of other terms to describe these three terms that you'll hear a lot, just to really remember them. So accuracy is true value, reliability is repeatability, and validity is are we measuring what we intended to measure? So, intended measure. So when we look at accuracy and we're looking at true value, we want to think of if two people are taking data on the exact same event. And let's say we're looking at hitting behavior. Let's say that the client has 11 hits in a five minute period. And let's say I record nine and my peer records 12. Well, we could look at this data, even if we don't know that the 11 is the true value yet, we could say that there is some type of inaccuracy here, but we're not really sure which person is more accurate or not. So what we could do is we could look at either a video recording of the event, or we could try to have a third person do this and look at the average. So kind of like our total count IOA when we're looking at the accuracy there. We could see how close the data matches, but we still don't know the true value. So you could say that if somebody had eight or nine and 12, that it was inaccurate. If we had a video recording and we could go back, we could really compare the accuracy to what those, what myself and my peer recorded. Next is reliability. So with repeatability, is the measurement tool that we're using reliable? Do we get the same results over and over? So think of a scale. So this is a classic example of the doctor scale. Maybe you say, oh yeah, I'm always five pounds more at the doctor. But every single time you go, you're five pounds more. So we could say that that scale is still reliable. There's some inaccuracy going on possibly, but we can say that it's a reliable instrument. Same thing with like a speedometer. So if you're taking the same way to work and it's 3.6 miles every single day, if you're in a run club and you decide to run that exact same route and you use your uh, Fitbit or Apple Watch to track instead and you get 3.3 miles every single time, even though those two instruments are not getting the same results, those individual instruments are reliable because you're getting the exact same measure every time you drive and you're getting the exact same measure on your watch. So you can rely on your watch being 3.3 and your speedometer in your car being 3.6. So even though there's that discrepancy, those instruments alone are reliable. There is that an accurate problem, but we could at least say that these instruments are reliable. Validity are we intending to measure, are we measuring the right dimension? So this is like if we're trying to look at attention, if we're concerned of one of our clients' attention, attentive skills, we wouldn't want to just look at their grades at school because that is not a good measure of their actual attention, okay? There could be other, other things going on. So we would want to make sure that we're looking at the correct measure and using the, the correct way to measure, the, the correct continuous or discontinuous measure to record as well. Uh, validity also has to do with underestimating or overestimating behaviors. So with partial and whole interval, there's another video on that. Uh, sometimes we can have invalid measures that way as well. So it's important to know that we can have accurate data. Uh, we can have reliable instruments, but inaccurate data. And then if it's not valid, then we really are not even looking at accuracy either because that validity is important for us getting what we're really trying to measure. So I hope this helps. Drop any comments below or any future videos that you want to see. Subscribe to our channel and then also follow us on Instagram to stay up to date with our current visuals and future videos as well.